There you go. Stand there and give me a. I'm Paul from Rainbow, and I'm going to teach you how to use the Q Connect today. I'm Paul from Rainbow, and I'm going to teach you how to use the Q Connect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so first things first, before we get started, we're gonna have to go through our equipment checklist to make sure we have all the items that we need to perform the injection. So as I look here, we have uh, our equipment checklist, and it's on the application guide. Uh, we need our aluminum bottle cap, our Q-Connect handles and tubing, uh, one liter product bottle, a 1564 inch high helix drill bit, a bottle stand, bike foot pump, also our, our cordless drill, 18 volt is recommended, uh, a DVH uh, measuring tape, and also the proper PPE. All right, first thing we gotta do is we have to measure the tree at DVH height. So after we have our DVH total, we're gonna divide that number by two. For example, if we have a 24 inch tree, we're gonna have 12 injection sites. So then I'll go through and check out my harness and adjust it to how many proper injection tees I have. We're gonna insert our bottle support stake into the ground. We're gonna undo the quick connect and then lay it around the tree and then reconnect it. All right, so when you're about to drill into the tree for the injection sites, make sure they're about three quarters of an inch to an inch depth past the bark, no more than a foot above the soil line. Generally, we like to try and drill into the root flare if possible. After you drill your injection sites, we're gonna take our Q-Connect tips and go around the tree and place them into the injection holes that we've drilled. As you're doing that, you're gonna to want to open up the injection tips on the Q-Connect. Pressurize the bottle using any standard bike pump that has a straighter valve. Once pressurized, we're going to open up the valve on the top and you'll be able to see the product move through the lines. Yeah, so once the uh, product is going through the injection uh, system, you're going to want to walk around the tree, check for leaks. If you do see a leak, you're going to want to turn that valve off and then if uh, it, it might not be seated in there, so you're going to want to kind of, kind of wedge it in a little bit deeper and then open it up and see if the leak uh, persists. If it does, you're going to want to turn that off and go to a different injection site. I would uh, keep walking around the tree and check for leaks as the process goes. As the product finishes through the lines, you're going to want to turn off those individual injection sites. So when the product is all finished and the tree has taken up all the solution, you're going to want to turn off the main valve, pull the tees out of the trunk, and go home. <laughs> Once the Q-Connect tips are removed from the tree, there's no need to cover up the holes. The tree will do the work from there. So I hope this quick overview gave you a good idea of how to use the equipment and also save some trees. <laughs>